Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at a hair product which I've recently come across and I haven't been using it very long but it has made a really strong impression on me and it really does just go to show that cost doesn't actually mean everything. Very often in today's society we can get tied up in that we will only buy a certain product from a certain range or a certain brand and we will only spend a certain amount on a product or we'll actually only buy a product which costs a certain amount and very often we are told that cheaper products isn't very good for our scalp and cheaper products aren't very good for our hair. Well this is something slightly different which I came across and I was a little bit surprised actually. So it's a good brand. We are reviewing the product range today by Bedhead Rockaholic. Now stay with me because of course yes Bedhead isn't a cheap product but when I go through the cost you will see what I mean in just a moment. So we are reviewing the hairspray. Okay well then we are doing the mousse and then we are looking at the hair gel. And then finally, we are looking at the paste. Now, this is the Rockaholic range by Bedhead, and it's T-I-G-I. -I. And this is the product range. So all have very similar packaging, very sophisticated, very sleek. To be honest, would not look out of place in a real upmarket barber shop for men and look really, really nice, really trendy and absolutely would certainly buy them. So this is a product range which I came across in a store. I'm just trying to think of the name. Um, okay, bear with me. So price, Roy, I'm just working out price as well. So these products all were no more, actually, so each product was no more than around £3.50. I know, pretty crazy. So all of them, and if anybody knows who's used the Bedhead product, if you go to buy them, you're talking literally over 10, maybe 12, 13, probably even a little bit more. Um, and that's average, and that is, a, and, and that's a good price. You can get them sometimes cheaper online, but um, certainly for their hairsprays or their styling treatments, uh, like pre-stylers, that type of thing, you are looking at paying about that much, which is fine. That is the product range. It comes with a certain level of quality, and it comes with those ingredients in that product, which we know and which we are assured by because of the name. And that that's fine. Now this product range, I remember first seeing this when it first came out actually and I think it's in Superdrug and I can't find it in there anymore. Never got around to trying it and the price price I remember was around seven, eight pounds each for these products. Um, and thinking of these, it was actually, I remember now, it was Home Bargains where I actually bought these products and I we don't have that in my local town centre but when we actually go and see my nan who I see very, very often, um, there's one close to her. So very often if we go in there and pick things up, um, I always have a look at hair products. I'm always on the lookout for different hair products which I can try. I have fine hair, lots of it, but I'm always looking for products to try and really get the best style possible. And it's just something I enjoy as an interest. Um, but the products which I have chose here, really, really surprised. I thought to myself, okay, there's got to be a catch here. Do you know, there's got to be something for that cost that price whether or not possibly it could be because they can get it in such bulk and they can sell it to customers cheaper i wouldn't know um but to be honest with you that's not what i'm doing i'm not penalizing a product just because of its cost it just goes to show that for a cheaper cost you can have the same level of quality of product and do you know what it gets annoying when people of a certain in the nicest possible way when you get somebody telling you that a product because of its cost is no good for you or it won't do any good or it won't be any good for your scalp or your hair. Really? Does that person know? Or are they just trying to sell you something? How many times when you go into a barber's or a salon, wherever you get your haircuts and they try and start selling you these products? It happened to me, I'm, what do I say, about nine months ago now. Um, and a really up marketplace, really, very nice, really sleek, really modern had my hair cut, really nice, really stylish cut, really liked how it was finished. And the lady afterwards said the products actually, which because I had my hair washed, which sometimes annoys me of a hearing balance problem. The last thing I want to be doing is having my hair washed and put my head back because it affects my balance problem with vertigo. So anyway, I had that done. And then afterwards, I remember the lady saying to me, this was a shampoo we used. This was the conditioner and this was the spray or the treatment spray we used to get the sleek finish. OK, yeah, really like the sound of it. Really, really liked it. Um, then I think it was something silly like £18 a product. And I thought to myself, OK, so the haircut was £30 and you're trying to sell me the product of like £18 each. So it's probably going to cost me the best part of £100, if not more. No, thank you. For a start, none of us have really sometimes got the money for that. And let's be fair, who wants to be paying that much as well? When there's so many things in this life which are pressured and some people just don't have the money there. And sometimes we all have months or times or weeks where we could really be putting that money elsewhere. Let's get back to the review. So the review, we are going to start off with the Bedhead Rockaholic 
hard spray and it's called hard spray which okay yeah i get that and it's called they've all got i noticed they've all got sort of comical names so this one here groupie the hair gel punked up the mousse amped up and then here headliner that's the paste so hairspray here okay so for a hairspray which very often you can buy a hairspray or a free spray and if they've got a lot of theater about them when i say that like you've got a lot of design and it says hard hold very often you will know if you're in a similar situation and you and you do a style like what i've got today and you spray it through and you think to yourself great it's either wet or it's either heavy or you've sprayed your your you've sprayed your style which is you've got fine texture hair you've sprayed your style you look in the mirror and then it's like you've sprayed water over your hair it's happened and it does happen this product doesn't it's really nice it's light it's got it's got a bit of a sort of a it's got a bit of a chemical smell about it but it's not nasty it's quite pleasant still it's almost like um it's almost like like a like a deodorant spray but it doesn't really have too much of a smell about it you can tell it's a hair product which you're using um but that it's quite a pleasant smell it's not overpowering or anything but the hold is really really good now very often when i'm drying my hair off and sort of like in a pompadour style i've got lots of height and volume the last thing i want to be using is a hairspray which takes quite a while to sort of hold or take its or take its firmness or its grip this straight away you can be spraying it you can carry on then and you can just build it and it works quickly so you can don't have to spend so much time styling your hair which is really really good so for me this is an absolute favorite from the range and i would really really buy this one again it's a really nice product quality like the scent the hold is guaranteed and it and it really looks after the hold of my style all day and it's really really nice does it affect my scalp no it doesn't affect my scalp at all when i wash the product out at the end of the day if i've got it around my sides my hair or anything doesn't give me any skin conditions i notice i've had a few questions with breakouts from people with comments if they use hair products that doesn't happen i don't find it makes your hair your scalp or, or your forehead or anything greasy um really nice product and would certainly use this one again so in natural sort of progression when you would use a hairspray some people with a lot of hair or a lot of finer hair may use something such as a mousse now very often mousses can be quite hard can be quite crispy um and can take the natural sort of characteristic of hair away so that natural shine they can sometimes make your hair quite dull and it can make your hair quite stiff this one i have to admit in line with the hair, the hairspray i keep saying that because it's hard hold hairspray but in line with the hairspray this mousse is lovely i used it this morning i'll go through how i styled my hair and it's really very very nice now this has got a bit more of a citrusy a bit more of a fruity smell but again a little bit sort of artificial chemically but it's not nasty and it's a really nice smell and i tell you what the nozzle had me a little bit on this as well because how fine the nozzle is i really thought that looking at that when i took that off i thought well how's that going to be How's that really going to get the air in the mousse, which I need to create that nice lightness, that nice body, that texture in my hair when I'm styling my hair? Again, packaging all in line with these products, really sleek, really modern, really professional, very masculine. And of course, wouldn't look out of place in a real high market barbers or salon or hair shop, whatever you want to call it. Um, so amped up. This is a volumizing mousse really nice and they all come in good sizes so hairspray 385 mil so you've got that amount there what you can keep using 200 mil now when i first use this it feels very sort of light very sort of fine in the can when you literally spray this into your hand so it's hold it upside down okay so you literally invert it in your hand and then spray it through this way and you get this real light fluffy aerated mousse with a really nice smell rub it through your hands and then through your hair it glides through your hair and i was actually really surprised again because of the cost we're so used to products which are slightly cheaper apparently they won't be any good for us but do you know what for i think that was less than i think that was actually less than two pounds fifty and i forgive me for the exact price i was trying to find the receipt of this but i couldn't actually find it but i assure you in home bargains i actually didn't pay no more than three pounds fifty for each product so they are a cheaper product range um, for that. I don't know. I haven't looked online because I'm not penalizing the brand if they are cheaper or what's happened to them. But I know Bedhead is a really great brand um, and the mousse, just an absolute favorite of mine. And then literally what I've done with my Damon brush which is around here somewhere because I just had it in front of me. Yep, here it is. So this one here, my trusty 
small radial brush. So lifting up from the roots with this mousse on. So you've got about two golf ball size amounts, rub it through your, your hands, all through your hair. And then with a blow dryer, literally lifting up from the roots and then pulling towards the ceiling and then directing it back over. And as you can see, I've got volume all throughout my hair, but I've lifted it slightly higher on one side and then over. So with this today, what I was doing is I've shampooed, conditioned my hair. Then I have gone in with this mousse, nothing else. So about two golf ball size amounts rubbed through my hands and then through my hair, lifting with the brush upwards. So li literally twisting ever so slightly up towards the ceiling and then directing over my scalp. I haven't gone straight back today. If you notice, I've gone sort of slightly up and then off to one side. So I've gone up from the front of my hair, then up and then back, holding it quite taut with the dryer, and then up and then over, and then again, up and then over. And then throughout my hair, I've drawn just in at the roots, pulling quite, not, not heavily, and when I say pulling, I mean quite taut, so holding the hair firm. I don't mean literally ripping the hair upwards, so do be careful that you don't want to cause any damage or anything. And with mousses, very often when I've used them previously before, when they're sort of half dry, you've got about 10% left to dry, you feel that the hair starts getting firm, starts getting quite stiff, crunchy and horrible. And then you end up with this like plasticky feeling in your hair and you know something's in there. Yep, it gives you volume, but it makes the hair so unnatural. With this, you get a real natural sort of volumized look and all the hair stand away from the scalp, helping you feel as though you've got more hair, really great for fine textured hair. Men and women, of course, just because I've said the packaging is sort of quite masculine, you could very easy not necessarily it's very sleek modern it could be certainly for men and women and really really nice and gives you that fantastic sort of canvas to then go in and create the style you want as i said this is what i have done this morning with that i'm going to follow on with that in just a moment next product to move on i'm going to go for the stronghold hair gel again fits in with the same packaging really sleek really modern now this i have used this a couple of times it's a really nice product is it the best hair gel i'll be very honest no it's not the best hair gel but then i'm very used to using really super strong hair holds so the max hold so 10 on that scale so really up there really firm can barely get the comb through and you might find that sounds really unhealthy but if you're going for a 1920 slick back look or side slick back look which i very often wear from those eras slick back to your scalp you want something which you don't, you don't have to keep going back in, brushing and brushing or combing and combing. With this, I found I styled my hair. Um, I used about half a golf ball size amount, probably a little bit more. And then I've had to go in with more. So it's not it's not that the product isn't of good quality. It's just that the hold isn't high enough for me. But for somebody else, it might well be absolutely perfect. And the hold might be incredible there. Smell a little bit sort of artificial, a little bit chemically, but not nasty fresh pleasant to use and certainly does it affect my scalp does it give me any sort of problems with my scalp no it doesn't not at all people have asked on my channel if it gives you um not this product if some of the hair products i've used gives breakouts i always say if you're using anything like a gel always wash your hair twice once to wash the hair product out of the hair then the second time to get those ingredients of your shampoo working on your scalp and helping that hair grow as thick and as healthy as possible so when you're using that always I would say double shampoo, but no problems with this at all. And really, really very nice uh, as a nice, strong, it says strong hold gel. I would say it's strong, but it's not super strong. So for me, it'd probably be about medium, quite a natural holding gel, not necessarily strong, but all the same, a really great product to use. And certainly for the cost, you certainly cannot go wrong. If you had short hair and you were just using a small amount and you're just flicking your hair around into a nice, uh, sleek, sort of spiky style or bring it towards the front and creating a bit more of a feature in the front, would be absolutely perfect. Possibly if your fingers and drying it with a hairdryer would work even better giving that increased hold. So still a really nice product. Lastly, let's go in to the paste. So this one here, which is titled the headliner. So it's 80 grams. Now, when I first use this, I am not going to lie. It's really quite a thinner product what I'm used to. And it actually runs, as you can see, it's starting to move over. But smell really nice a little bit again a little bit artificial I, I can get that scent through here it's a little bit sort of artificial not that natural but however in some of them the sense of sort of citrus sort of freshness but not nasty not nasty products at all um certainly not a nasty smell um here would be really really good for short hair and for longer length hair that sort of loose sort of wavy sort of not necessarily too uniform style would be really really great for that would you believe i've used a small of that in the style i've got today really good really good for if you've got dried texture hair sorry hair dried hair sorry if you've used a blow dryer to dry your hair off 
after the mousse. Mousse gives you that volume, then the paste gives you that texture, and then spray over with the hairspray. So this paste would be really, really great for if you've got short textured hair. Really great as well for that. So we talked about if you had slightly longer hair, that ununiformed look, really great for that. And just giving that bit more of a modernness, being that taking that dryness out of the hair, making it look really quite youthful and really quite sleek. Very often our hair, if you haven't had it cut for a while, or if you've got longer length hair, it can be a little bit dull through some shampoos and conditioners which you may use. Sometimes if you used a two-in-one shampoo, that can happen with conditioner. Um, these products, if you've got a bit of dryness or if you've got sort of hairs which stand up all over the place, it can be great just to tame everything all in. So that, I would certainly say, is really, really great for that as well. But on the other end of the scale, using it as a constructor, really great. Let's run back and go through how I've styled my hair today on the back of these reviews. So just a slight, in, uh, slight conclusion of these. Lovely, lovely products. My favourite is the hairspray and the mousse. I think that's because I have a lot of volume styles and these work with me fantastically well. Would I use the hair gel again? Yes, I absolutely would. It's not the strongest hair gel, but I would certainly use it again. And the paste I would certainly use to be able to get certain elements of style into my hair. For example, when I've got hair blow dried up like this and over, what's really great is taking a small amount of this, rubbing it through your hands, and then with your fingers, pulling it through so you've got that style breaking up, giving that bit more of a modern edge rather than such a perfect combed edge. How have I styled my hair today? So we've covered that I've shampooed, conditioned my hair, and then I've used two golf ball size amounts of this, really natural, but gives you that really nice edge of volume and lift. Afterwards, that's what I've done, sorry, with drying, let's just go over that as well, lifting from the roots up towards the ceiling and then over, and then here just literally brushing off to the side. And then on this side, lifting up and then to the ceiling and then directing it opposite, on the opposite side, and then lifting throughout, throughout the middle of my hair, just giving that lift and then pulling upwards, and just being really careful not to overly pull on the hair there, just do it quite naturally, but holding it quite taut. There is a difference, I can assure you. After that, taking a small amount of this, rubbing it through your hands, and then through your hands, and literally pulling it upwards and through. You get a really nice style, and as you can hopefully see, if I hold off to the side here, you can see, as you can see, my hair is fine. I'm not portraying that I've got huge amounts of hair or thick hair. It looks thick for how I style my hair. But literally, through your hands, take a small amount of that, and as you can see, you can see where I've pulled my fingers through, all the way through, and it just gives that really nice, modern edge with a nice lot of volume, that nice pompadour-inspired look, which is from the 50s, that nice high-volume look, and then literally holding my head over in front of me, spraying it with this hard-hold hairspray all over. So with the, the hairspray all over, and then standing back up, you'll notice that your hair stands even higher, and then literally just taming it back in with a brush, kind of like what I've used here, or a comb, and just combing it in ever so slightly so you don't have that real crazy huge ultra volume look. You might go for that, and if it does, these products will work for you for that. They really will indeed. Okay, thanks very much for watching my clip today. I've really very much enjoyed this product range. Certainly something I will continue to use into the future, and... I'd really recommend you getting them. If you have a home bargains by you, that's where I found these products. Um, I haven't really seen them too much about lately, I have to admit, but I thought I would just give them a try, and I was certainly pleasantly surprised, especially by how much I spent on them. I'm sure you can find them online as well. Again, thanks very much for watching, and until next time, we will see you then. Bye-bye now.